Hello everyone. Welcome to Special TV. Here is a report of a challenging operation. The transport and precise installation of huge pumps. For one of the largest pumping stations in Europe. It is being built in the Afslet Dick in the Netherlands. For safe water management for the future. In the Netherlands, near Denover, the construction consortium level, consisting of the BAM Group, Van Old, Rebel, and Invesis, is undertaking the development of one of Europe's largest pumping stations. This cutting-edge facility will comprise two pump groups, each housing three enormous pumps. Its primary objective is to facilitate the effective discharge of water from the Isolmere for the foreseeable future. The pumps were conveyed on a construction road, utilizing self-propelled modular transporters SPMTs. Two SPMTs with six axis lines and a power pack were deployed for this purpose. These SPMTs are engineered to transport heavy loads without causing an overload on the surface. Level, the construction consortium responsible for the project, successfully positioned the pumps on the Robin Pla of the Afsloot Dijk. To accomplish this task, they relied on the expertise of Hebo Maritime Services floating crane, the Hebo Lift 7. With an impressive lifting capacity of 300 tons, this floating crane efficiently brought the pumps ashore. With the installation of the new pumping station and discharge locks at the Afsloot Dijk, the capacity for water drainage from the Isolmere to the Warden Sea has been significantly improved. This development is crucial in light of the rising water levels from the rivers and surrounding areas, which could lead to potential flooding. The pumps are sourced from Spain and Portugal and subsequently assembled in Spain, in order to ensure their safety and stability during transportation. The pumps are equipped with a specially designed transport frame. FlowServe, the manufacturer of these pumps, takes full responsibility for their transportation to the Netherlands. The process involves carefully hoisting the pumps in a horizontal position onto a ship using a crane, which requires precise maneuvering from a vertical to a horizontal orientation. According to Mark van Saars, the project organizer of building consortium level, this aspect of the operation is actually more thrilling than the transportation itself. Once loaded, it takes approximately a week for the ship to reach Rotterdam. Upon arrival, the cargo is then transferred to an inland vessel and transported to the Afsloot Dijk. Six large pumps are integrated into the pumping station's design, with each pump towering at around 12 meters in height, and having the capacity to pump water up to 3.4 meters high. These pumps are crafted from aluminium sources and steel, weighing over 90 tons each. The pumping station, recognized as one of the largest in Europe, in partnership with the new discharge locks, amplifies water drainage from the Isolmere to the Warden Sea. Marcel Duba the design leader at Level, has been engaged in the project since 2018, when the new pumping station was still in the design phase. FlowServe, a distinguished company, devised a complex design for the metal pumps and concrete bump housings, as stated by Marcel Duba. To assess and enhance this design, FlowServe constructed a scaled model of the project in Etten Lure, the Netherlands. To accommodate the limited clearances between the structure and the pump units during installation, lifting cylinders were employed between the crane hook and the load. This technique allowed for the creation and monitoring of a level difference throughout the lifting process, 
guaranteeing a safe outcome. Level has commissioned Flowserve to produce the metal pumps at their factory in Coslade, which is situated near Madrid. On the other hand, the concrete suction nozzles, an integral component of the pumping station responsible for drawing water from the Isolmir, are manufactured by Waco, a concrete specialist, at their factory in bergen op -Zoom. Placing the pumps on the Afsloop Deed proved to be a difficult task due to the limited space and size constraints. The delicate process of lifting the pumps could only be carried out during calm weather conditions, and it demanded meticulous precision to position them with a mere 8 mm of margin. The most challenging aspect of the operation was hoisting the pumps and securely anchoring them in the concrete structure of the pumping station. The assembly team had to exercise utmost care and precision throughout the past year to ensure a perfect fit. After the pumps, motor frame, and motors have been successfully installed, the ultimate step in positioning the large components is to mount the domes that protect the pumps. These extraordinary architectural wonders weigh 30 tons each, have a diameter of 9 meters, and stand at a height of 4 meters. The new pumping station at the Afsloop Dijk was designed with Cornelis Lely's vision in mind, to seamlessly blend in with the existing structures. According to Menno Moman, project manager at level, the motor of the pumps will only be visible at the top, covered by three steel and glass domes. The energy for the pumps will be sustainably generated using solar power from the surroundings. The pumping station's first test is set to begin towards the end of 2024, with the aim of being fully operational within a year. <laughs>